if you ask anyone who wants to immigrate to the United States of America, why are you planning or you really want to go to America? Someone says, I want just to visit. Others say, I just want to see and learn from something and then come in my home country and do something. Some people, they say, I want to succeed on something and I believe that is my dream and being in America can be able to achieve what I want to do. So whatever you want to do, either you want to immigrate to, uh, to the United States of America or you are already here now. So what do you need to do in order to succeed here? That is a very good question. What are the techniques and what are the procedures you need to do? I have six, six ways or six things you need to consider in order to go through these items. They are not in any specific order in order to succeed here in the United States of America. One, when you are arriving in America, you need to make a decision. A decision has to be made as soon as possible. Either even before you arrive here. But once you receive those words of welcome from the Customs and Border Patrol's officer, welcome to the United States of America. Boom! They give you a stamp, a visa, and they permit to cross from the port of entry. Whether it's JF JFK in New York, whether it's in, uh, in, in Chicago, Whatever city you are arriving uh, as the port of entry, once you arrive here, you need to make a decision and you, made, you need to make a decision so fast. And the decision you have to make it has, it has to be either after arriving in the United States, are you coming here to stay for a short time, go back to your home country, or you are coming here, you want to stay here permanently? Because once you make that decision, it will guide you for the rest of your life here in the U.S., because if your aim is to come here, do bachelor degree or do master's degree, do one year work of experience, go back to your home country, there are things you need to do. Like study hard, but remember to work, get money, save. When you go back, you can be able to study something, whatever it, whatever you plan to do in your home country. But if you decide to say, I'm going to stay here in the US, maybe for five, ten years and see what opportunities will come and what the life will take me somewhere else, then there are things you have to do also to be able to do. One will be just to find a way on how you can change your immigration status from the visa you have, whether it's a tourist visa, whether it is a uh, student visa, things of that nature, to green card which is you have to do adjustment of status from whatever visa you have to become permanent resident. If you want to stay here permanently, obviously. If you want to stay for a while, you can look for opportunity to become, to get a H1 visa, which is a working visa. So that is number one. If you want to succeed in America, you must make a decision very early that I've come to the United States of America to stay here, to make sure that I'm becoming the best, I'm getting all opportunities I want to do. Second way, you need to learn. After arriving here, don't start jumping and doing every crazy stuff you were thinking while you were in your home country. While you were thinking, which is good, that when I go to America, I'll make sure that I'm going to do one, two, three, four. But remember, you are planning those one just in a hypothetical thinking. Now you are in the place. You have to learn. You have to learn from Americans themselves. You have to learn from other immigrants, whether those who succeeded or those who failed on something, they'll be able to guide you. Even if they don't guide you, but you can see, learn from what they have done, and maybe you think, what can you do differently if they didn't achieve what they wanted? Learn from them. Take your time. Don't just say arriving here and then, okay, from today, I, my dream was to become an accountant. I have to do this one. I'm going to work at Wall Street. Please slow down and learn the system. What causes can you be able to study here, get scholarships, or be able to pursue and be able to be competitive in the job market and be able to succeed whatever you want to do in the United States of America. So, learn. Then, you need the third one. You need to create the blueprint. You need to create a plan. How are you going to execute your plan? 
and the timeline basically so you say i'm going to be here forever okay you have been learning so you need to create a plan a plan okay i'm studying my bachelor degree i need to get a good grades then i'll go for masters then i'll do phd by having phd <coughs> that's the plan by having phd i'll be able to f find a job with a professor i can teach at the university i'll get h1 visa then they'll sponsor me so you need to have a plan you need to have a deadline timeline you need to know with that plan what kind of resources you need what things you need to know or to do in order to accomplish that you need to have a plan you need to have a blueprint if you know for sure you want to go for masters you need to know for sure i have to take a gre i have to take this kind of exams and to get good grades and so you have to prepare yourself to success this is what i did when i arrived in america i came with everything i have written down and then i learned everything then written down again like what i was thinking before coming to america was it correct if i want to do masters why other people who came through the same program of Fulbright didn't get master's scholarships? Oh, maybe they were, I came to, oh, they were allowed to do GRE. Something applied to two or three universities. Okay, so what should I do? I applied to 25 universities. I took GRE, I mean, very, very early. So I had to learn the mistakes from others to perfect my, my craft. And within the plan, you need to have a backup. What if this doesn't go through? That's why I applied 25, 25 universities, just in case if I apply five and I don't get it, so I can apply more. So you need to have a plan with a backup. I know we have a discussion and other people, they say, oh, no, uh, you need, don't need your plan B. If you have plan B, it's just you are preparing yourself for failure. No. The best people, they usually have a plan. That's why the best military, the best uh, armed forces, whatever you call uh, Navy SEALs, Special Team 6 are the best in the world. One, because they have to have at least three, four plans of the same event. If they are going to do something like this is a mission, they need to find like at least three, four ways on how to execute the same way to accomplish the mission. And you know, you remember like what happened when they went to, uh, to find uh, Bin Laden, what happened was the same way. They had a plan, they have to go through uh, at the top with the helicopter, then helicopter crashed, but they had another plan to come from, from the front door. So those are the things you need to prepare before, just in case. Yeah, things happen. That is number three. Number four, credit cards and loans. Avoid to be just jumping and get credit cards. If you get credit cards, learn how to make sure that you have a good credit history. Because especially we as immigrants, when you come here, oh, you get a credit card, they give you 500, 1,000, 5,000 US dollar in credit card, you just start using, using, and you don't pay. You need to know how to properly use your credit card. You, you use it, you pay it, so that you can have a good credit history. Then you can be able to get auto loan, home loan down the road, things of that nature myself i didn't learn that way i learned the hard way when i came like after spending too much on the credit card already you are behind the payments so we need to know these kind of systems how to manage credit card and the things of that nature loans if you take a loan you have to have a plan don't take a loan so that you can you can do a wedding don't take a loan so that you can have a birthday party no so there are certain ways sorry there is a little bit noise here it's midnight here and it is raining outside so bad. Uh, lighting and thunder, that's why you can see some lights everywhere. That's the reason, yeah. Yeah, so credit cards, you have to be very careful in the, in the loans. That's why even if you come to study here, don't just jump here and study. Uh, you have green card, then you just jump and take a student loan. Yeah, you might end up paying until you die. So very careful. You take a loan, but you need to have a good plan for that. Yeah. Then avoid to participate or commit any kind of crime and especially abuse children and women or beating whatever any kind of abuse you have to avoid that one don't do whatever it takes but try to pay tax don't i mean if you avoid tax you'll be in so much trouble then 
don't do drugs, especially driving under influence of alcohol, DUI. You'll be in so much trouble. So overall, stay away from crimes because they might cost you more opportunities. And the last one is education. So if you have, you have education in your country, you have bachelor, master's, PhD, once you come here, sometimes you need certain certification or you need to have just another degree from here so that they can see you are part of them. You can come with your master's degree from uh, University of Abidjan. You are here. And the people, they do not know what is Abidjan, first of all. It's just the name of what? Like, so sometimes they prefer they see the name of a school in one of the states. So sometimes you have to put your ego aside, get even short courses or certain certification so that you can be into job market uh, in a very competitive way. So those are the six ways that they start on how you can create a foundation to succeed in the United States of America. And especially if you're an immigrant, make a decision as quick as possible. Are you staying here forever or you are staying here for a short time? Whether you are short time or a long time, you need to have, then you need to create, you, you have to create a plan. You need to learn the system, then create a plan, a blueprint. Then you need to avoid crimes, you need to avoid the, uh, necessary credit, uh, going, uh, defaulting into the credit cards and loans and you have to get a good education in America to be able to compete at the highest level possible. So those are some of the ways on the basics on how you can be able to succeed as a immigrant. Those are the basics. I don't say if you do everything like this one, you are going to su succeed. Then from there it comes like, okay, so you got a job, for instance. What is your work ethics? What is your drive determination? How are you going to spend your money after getting the money? Those are other things. Like these, I'm just saying, these are the basics. But if you have these basics, you get a job. What are you going to do to get another job? For instance, you have one job. Do you like it? Can you take this job and do any other side, maybe Uber or do some online training, something else? So those are the things like it will come. But these are the basics on how you can create a plan to succeed in America. Myself, I'm still learning every single day. And I'm still perfecting. And sometimes you can have this plan and the plan can change because some new information, you got it, it changes everything. For instance, for my case, when I came to America, I've never thought in myself, one day I'll be in the U.S. military. So I was just doing Fulbright teaching, doing masters, doing other things, whatever I want to do. But the day I came to learn a lot about how you can join the U.S. military. What are the benefits of joining the U.S. military? I had to change the entire plan. I had to make a diversion to go, first of all, to do this one so that I can achieve my overall blueprint. So sometimes you have to be okay if the new information comes into you to be able to make another decision, to change the decision you have been able, or to change the style to make sure that you can be able to succeed. So don't assume that because this is my plan, it is forever it cannot change, no. Things can change. The methodology can change. Even the entire plan can change depending on how you want to succeed or things of that nature. Yeah. So those are the ways I want to share with you. Uh, why are you planning or you really want to immigrate into to the United States of America? If you want to, Im to, immigrate, to immigrate, so you have to know why. I know majority of people, they want to succeed. Or they want to learn something here so that they can uh, apply that thing in their own country. So, whatever you do, I wish you all the best.